Hello, Upper School. Today, we are going to take a break from landscapes and we are going to be making a optical illusion. An optical illusion is a trick of the eye and you're going to be using lines and shapes and colors to create that illusion. All right, first step, get your hand, slap it on your paper. You want the fingers to be spread out so that it's easy to trace. And then you're going to use a pencil or a pen and you're going to start tracing. So. I take my pen and I'm going to go around all my fingers. Awesome. And then I'm just going to stem this line. All right, so I trace my hand. The next step is to create the lines that are going to make the optical illusion. And you're gonna need horizontal lines, that's lines that go straight across, and they're gonna go over your fingers. But as the lines go over your fingers, you're going to have them go up a little bit to create that effect. So I'm gonna show you in the middle of the hand. So I'm gonna make a line from the side of my paper. When I get to my hand, my line, instead of being straight, is gonna curve up, kinda of like a frown or an arch. And then when it gets to the other side of your hand, you're gonna make it go straight again. Okay, and you're gonna do that a bunch of times. So I'm gonna start from the middle and work my way down and then I'm gonna go up again. All right, so now I'm gonna work my way up. When you get to the space between one of your fingers and your thumb and there's space right here, that line is gonna go straight and then it's gonna curve up again. Okay, I finished adding my lines. Now, there's different ways you can do this. If you wanted your lines um, straighter and closer together, you could use a ruler and do that. I just kept it kind of freehand and the lines were kind of curvy. It's totally your preference, what you want to do. And then if you're looking at your hand and you see that maybe some of the lines could have been a little bit more curvy, you can go back in and fix it. So I feel like it should be a little curvy here, a little curvy here, and a little more curvy here just to fix it. And you can actually add more lines in between if you think your lines are not close enough. So I just did an arch for each finger and I'll go over the thumb, okay? And easy way to fix something. So say you don't like this line right here, you can take a thicker marker And just go over it and it will hide your mistake. And if you want to go through and add some thick lines and other spots in your picture, you can. And this will help give your picture a little bit more texture. And of course, if you're using a pencil, you could just erase it. I'm just gonna do a few of these lines. I'm gonna do one more right here.
Okay. All right, next step is color. So you're gonna take your marker and you're gonna kind of follow those lines. If you wanted to leave it black and white, you could. And I'm adding extra lines. If you just wanted to color in your strips, you could do that too. All right, so I finished coloring in my lines. Um, this is one of those projects that would probably be best made with marker because if you were using a colored pencil or a um, pack of crayons to color these in, it might take a really long time. So I would, if I were you, use markers. It would just make your life a lot easier. Okay, so my lines are going across my hand and as they're going over my hand, they're making those curvy lines and that's going to add to the illusion that there's a hand trapped under the paper that's coming up out of the lines. Bonus tip, if you wanna add more depth to your picture and make it a little bit more realistic, you can go in and add shadow with some shading. You just need a pencil and you're gonna go around each finger and you're gonna lightly shade the sides of each finger. And that's going to help give the illusion that there's a little bit of shading and shadow. This is completely optional, but if you wanna try it, go for it. If you don't want to use a pencil, you could just use a light gray marker and outline. It's a little bit darker. And if that's the effect you want, you could definitely use this trick. All right, guys, I cannot wait to see your 3D optical illusion hands.